All right, so this video is regarding combinations. Uh, it's sort of like permutations, but the big difference is that order is not, is not important for combinations. With permutations, the order is important. So uh, kind of an example, kind of compare and contrast. So in a running race, uh, there's first, second, and third place. Because I want to know how many different ways there could be first place, second place, third place, the order is important, therefore that is a permutation. But if I just wanted to know how many different ways can, uh, like, five finishers finish the race out of 100 people, again, we're not being very, we're not, we don't care if there's first or second, we just want to know if they finish. So that would be a combination. Another classic example would be, so you have, you, have to, you have a committee, but in this committee you have a president, secretary, vice president, and so you have to, those specific positions have to be filled in order. That's a permutation, whereas a combination, it's just, you have these committee members, we have to pick four for the committee. They don't have a title, they just need to join the committee. So that's a great example of a combination. So as I, you see on the screen there, it says NCR, okay, and it, just like NPR from yesterday, N represents the number of opportunities or number of outcomes, so uh, the possibilities of how many there are. And then R is the amount or the number I want. So out of all those possibilities, I need to choose three of them, five of them, whatever it happens to be. Okay, and the formula for this, again, if you have a calculator, it makes it a lot easier, but for those of you who are doing it the long way with the formula, it's very similar to permutations, n factorial goes on top. It even still has n minus r factorial, but you add an additional r factorial to it. Okay, and so what that means is, is that you're going to have less combinations than you do permutations. Because there's an extra kind of number on the bottom of my fraction, that means we're going to have less, uh, less combinations. And permutations, meaning the order is super specific, that means we're going to have more different uh, arrangements, we'll say, for permutations. So combinations is going to be less. And you'll see a couple of examples here that I do. Okay? So, uh, taking a look at, let's just look at number, letter I here. So, there's letter G, letter I, okay? So, 9 combination 2. So, plugging that in, you just simply do 9 factorial over 9 minus 2 factorial, 2 factorial. So, see with the combination, we add the extra 2 factorial. So, if I were to simplify this as best I can here, again, on top, wouldn't it be... 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, so on and so forth. Okay? 9 minus 2 is 7 for the parentheses, so wouldn't that just be 9 times, oh, excuse me, 9 minus 2 is 7, so 7 times 6 times 5, so on and so forth. But then I still have the 2 factorial. Okay? The reason why I kind of let it trail off is, yesterday we talked about this idea, remember, cross or, uh, reducing, just regular fraction. So if I have 7 times 6 and it keeps going on the top, and 7 times 6 times 5 keeps going on the bottom, I can cross off all of that, meaning I only have to focus on 9 times 8. The only difference is with combinations, I still have the 2 factorial on the bottom. So 9 times 8 is 72 over 2 factorial, 2 times 1 is 2. So 72 divided by 2 is going to give me 36. So that's the answer to 9 combination 2. And again, if you plugged it into a calculator, you get the same thing. But you can do the same things with permutations, but just remember that extra r factorial at the end of the formula. Very, very important you remember that. Okay, so we did one of those at the top. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the bottom. And specifically, I want to take a look at r and n. Okay, so that, I'm going to take a look at R and N for our examples here, and then I'll do some other videos with other examples. So, letter R. The Lincoln High School Orchestra has prepared eight pieces of music. The orchestra needs to play three of the pieces for a competition. How many different programs are possible? Okay, now, looking at this information, right, it just says needs to play three. It doesn't say it needs to be in a particular order. It doesn't say they can't repeat. Okay. Except look at the note. Look at the note down at the bottom. Super important. So it says the same pieces in a different order is considered a different program. Okay? Meaning the same pieces in a different order is considered a different program. What that means is, right, like if I play song A, song B, song C, okay, or if I play song B, song C, song A, okay, even if I play the same pieces, it's a different order. Meaning... It's going to be unique 
meaning it's a permutation, okay? So whenever you see that it's considered a different program, even though, let's say, the first time I go through a program, I play a song ABC, the next one I might play CDE, even though I repeated song C, it's considered a different program, right? Because it's with different songs. So letter R is going to be a permutation, okay? And again, there's eight pieces they can choose from, and there's three songs they need to play. So eight permutation three, okay? I'm going to use my calculator this time. Again, you already know how to use the uh, formula. Again, if you need to look at the formula or need a reference, go ahead and take a look at my other videos. But just to save us some time here, so 8 permutation 3 gives us an answer of 336. So there's 336 different ways we can arrange the music. Then look at letter N. It's the same exact scenario. Literally the same word for word except for that note on the bottom. So here it says the same note in a different order is considered to be the same selection. Okay? Where here it said different, it's the same for letter N. Meaning it's not unique. Meaning it's not a permutation, it's a combination. So that's the distinct difference between those two problems. It's the same numbers, but you just have to recognize which one is a permutation and which one is a combination. Okay? So for this one, 8 combination 3 gives me only 56 options. Because the choices aren't unique, meaning if I repeat a song, it means it's not unique, that means I have less different ways to arrange my program. And so combinations are going to give you less options or less arrangements. Permutations are going to give you a lot more. So that kind of breaks down what's a permutation, what is a uh, combination, Okay, and just be aware of that there's both these on these worksheets. Okay, and I'll do a few more problems in another video, but here's a kind of basic explanation of combinations.